and it sounds like they're going to be playing some Tom Petty tonight. I love Tom Petty, and uh, so I'm I'm doing the I'm doing the uh, broadcast from here, and and I've asked uh, uh, my friend and and vice president of uh, Sizzle International to join us tonight. We're going to be talking about the uh, Sizzle Sizzle Bizzle Business Building Pack, and uh, I figured you know instead of me trying to. Uh, jumble around and, and and go back and forth on it i would ask aaron to jump on and then aaron's got some great tidbits a little bit of uh information on what you can do to actually uh build your business as well so so aaron welcome to the call well thank you for the invite uh kurt can you hear me okay loud and clear you're coming on loud and clear thanks for being with oh. us yeah you're welcome well i i know that uh that you, as we were getting ready for the call, that uh, you had mentioned, uh, talk a little bit about um, the uh, starter pack, if you will, the enrollment kit, what uh, what people can expect to see in there, why it's so important and valuable uh, to giving people a great start, a very successful start. So I'm, I'm very excited about that, but I'm ready. Any uh, Anything you want to give me direction on, I'm ready to roll. You bet. Well, let's uh, let's just start with that with that starter pack. If you could tell everybody a, a little bit about uh, what what it really is, and and maybe um, the background of of why you've included the different things with the starter pack, the, the reason why it's there, and and why it's essential for people when they when they get their business going. Well, good. Well, hello everybody, and and I'm I really am pleased to be with you. I I look forward every time to getting on these types. of Calls with different teams from around the world, and it's always a joy for me. As I always mentioned, anytime I can get out of a finance or a, a, a legal meeting or any other types of meetings that uh, don't necessarily move the needle per se, like this will, I look forward to these calls very, very much. So I'm excited to be here because one of the big things that we've recognized, and obviously everybody knows this, has been around the block a couple of times, or even once in uh, network marketing is that there are a lot of people that get started in network marketing with hopes, dreams, desires, aspirations, beliefs, et cetera. Uh, but a lot of times they're really not sure what to do, you know, first step, second step, third step, et cetera. And one of the things that we recognize is that you have to be armed to go to battle. You really do. And, and uh, you know, when people talk about going into business, you really have to have the tools necessary to help you actually build a successful business. And so one of the things that we look at uh, and have looked at over the last couple of years is that we we had gone away a little bit from that traditional, tangible, physical uh, starter kit, something that allows people to have something in their hands, whether it be uh, brochure, catalog, or even the system, the sizzle system. It really is an opportunity for people to have the information at their fingertips and give them a jump start on uh, their business. And so when we think about it, we really think about the sizzle system. I mean, obviously, if you've got some brochures and a catalog that gives you the ability to go out and start working with uh, with those people that you that you believe may be interested in hearing some of the information that you're willing to share with them, the first thing you have to do is know, okay, so what is the first thing I need to do? Now, here's what I will tell you, that on this call right now, I know for a fact that we have just absolutely spectacular leadership. And so one of the things that I know is that with, uh, Dr. Kurt Fisnick and, and of course, uh, with uh, Katie Larking and, and uh, uh, geez, Andrea McKinnon and, and uh, a whole slew of people. I don't even, I can't see while I'm unfortunately uh, driving, but I will tell you that I know those people uh, have this incredible leadership that allows people to walk in and start to create duplication. But you still have to have the meat and potatoes in front of you in, in order to go out and start doing it. So really what I like to look at from my perspective is if I can give somebody a system, something that allows them to have a track to run on, something that gives them a little bit of, a, of an understanding of where they're going and where they're headed and how they're going to get there, it makes it a lot easier. And I'll give you an analogy. Uh, this About a week and a half ago, two weeks ago now, actually exactly two weeks ago now, uh, my wife and, and daughter and one of my daughter's friends went up to a lake up in uh, Washington State called Lake Roosevelt. Now, I had never even heard of this lake. I didn't know where it was. I had no idea uh, what to expect. I didn't know anything about it. So, of course, I did a little bit of research and looked at it online, tried to see a couple of images, and there were some, a few people had put, 
you know, put some videos up and all that good stuff. And so it allowed me to at least kind of get an idea of where I was going. I'm traditionally used to being in, um, in Utah where we go south to a, a big lake called Lake Powell. And it, but it sits on red rocks and um, very hot, very deserty, all that good stuff. So I, as I'm looking at the lake up in Washington State, here I'm seeing pine trees. And uh, while we were there, just as an example, we saw a deer, a big, you know, buck out there on the shore, uh, just nibbling on some uh, vegetation and all that good stuff. So very different than where I'm used to going. But at any rate, one of the things that I recognized is that um, is that I really didn't know where it was in the state. I didn't know where it was in relation to me. I didn't know uh, really what even road to start driving on in order for me to start driving towards this uh, this lake, this destination. And so, of course, we live in a wonderful modern age where we can type in an address and then, you know, literally our phones will take us right there. But that only goes so far. Now you have to do the physical piece, which is driving. Uh, I think it was about 10 and a half hours for us to get to the lake. And so there's this there's this physical aspect of it as well. That means I've got to go out and do that, which I know I need to do to in order for me to get there and take my family there. So I say that because what happens is, for the, for the most part, a lot of people jump into network marketing and they believe that they have everything they need in front of them. They've got their voice, they've got uh, their talents, their skills, you know, some of those uh, God-given um, accoutrements that allow people to go out and do what they do uh, or from nature itself. But what I will tell you is that it is the system itself that allows you to go out and find your destination. And the sizzle system actually gets into uh, what I had developed a number of years ago, which was the first 48 hours, which was really, but what do I need to do within the first 48 hours with somebody that I'm bringing into the business to help them learn and understand how they're going to, again, reach those goals or, or at least the dreams that they had, had had hopes for, but unfortunately weren't sure how to get there based on current income levels or current job uh, or maybe lack of income or lack of job. And so people look for that, that opportunity, and that's truly what it is, is an opportunity for them to go find a way in which they can actually start to earn an, in, an income or an additional amount of income uh, on top of what they're currently earning for their household or what they and, and those others that are participating or contributing to the household. So when we think about the first 48 hours, I really said, okay, so what do I need to do with that new person that's walked in the door what do I need to give them in order for them to see success or have success going forward? And that's one of the scariest things I think for a lot of people is that they're really not sure what to do. And so they're kind of scrambling around a little bit. They're looking for answers and they're asking questions. But if you don't have a great upline, like we have on the call, if you don't have a great leadership team, it's very, very difficult to find those people that can help you with the answers that you're looking for in order for you to have success. So a lot of times people will invest in a business, especially in network marketing, they'll invest, but they never get anywhere beyond maybe the first uh, month, maybe the second month, maybe the third, possibly the fourth, and on and on. Uh, in order to actually see the fruits of their labors come a lot of the issues that a lot of success, that immediate gratification. them to say, okay, you know what, what, what Kirk Fisnick told me was going to happen is happening. I can actually see it. I'm, I'm realizing that my efforts are actually translating uh, into the successes and the successes are obviously going to come with different deposits from different bonuses and, and commissions. And so as that starts to happen, the belief factor grows even deeper and deeper and deeper. And so, of course, we talk about kind of those five steps. Uh, you need to get your return on your initial investment into the business. You need to get your product for free. We need to teach you how to get a lifestyle change, you know, $500, $600, $700 a month coming into your household. Getting into $1,000 may get you about into one-star territory uh, so you can see that your rank is actually uh, in growth mode and your organization is supporting that and that foundational group of people are supporting that. And then what's the next step? The next step is really your goal. Your goal is really that next step in evolution, which is really how do I get to uh, whatever that, that income number is that I'm looking for. Now, here's the cool thing about it. And for those of you on the call today, I want you to think about a couple of things. One of the things that you need to understand is that everybody's goals are different. Everybody's income needs are different. Everybody's hopes, desires, dreams, 
uh, aspirations. They're all very, very different the way that they're structured. So what I may want to make in a month is different than what Dr. Kurt Fisnick may want to make in a month. And I'm using easy uh, names here, but, uh, um, but you know, for these different people, what is it or who is it that I'm looking for when it comes to the different people that I can work with? And so when we think about these people that we're working with, we've got to be uh, able to understand and, and really listen. You know, help me understand what it is that you're looking for. And I'll give you another great example of this is that I had a, a email come in from one of our large leaders, really a great leader uh, based out of here in the United States of America. And uh, one of the things that, that she asked me um, is I, I, she's enlisted my help. She said, Aaron, I want you, I'm, I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for a favor. Would you be willing to sit with me on a call and let's map out how I make it to 10 star. You know, I've got to start working on uh, these different legs. And I know I've, you know, very, very successful has a lot of a lot of volume coming in through her organization, but she's been so focused on all of the other people that she kind of forgot about herself and she kind of forgot about the things that she needs to do uh, to become successful. So this next week, we're going to map out a plan on how to help her hit those next levels. And there are probably other people that would love to do that. Maybe that's kind of a different exercise that we can go through and have people take notes. But what I need to understand from her is tell me ultimately what is the goal that you have in terms of income? Give me a realistic goal. And then what we need to do is work backwards from that goal. And we've done this exercise on this actual call uh, a couple of months ago when Dr. Kurt Fisnick asked me, Aaron, can you kind of take us through this? And then he embellished it as well and talked a little bit about how that works and how people are structured and how we need to make sure that we understand what it is that they need to do, working our way backwards, dividing the total number uh, with the total dollar amount with the number of people. And that helps you start to understand how many people you need in your organization spending X amount of dollars a month to create Y in your total commissions. So when you think about that, that's really kind of those easy steps. But the first 48 hours gets into all kinds of training and the system gets into all kinds of training now that allows that person that's just coming in the door to have the information in front of them that they can actually start building their business without an upline or with an upline. And if everybody has a very consistent message, that consistently consistent message will be the thing that actually drives us to the ultimate goal and the ultimate uh, desire. So I'm sitting in my office the other day uh, must have been on the, I'm guessing probably the 30th. And I got a message from uh, one of our Amish people. Uh, and if you, if those of you, for those of you that don't know, the Amish people have a difficult time traveling uh, to a certain extent because they don't use, um, uh, or they don't drive modern technology. They don't uh, drive a vehicle. They don't drive a van, a bus, anything like that. And so as a result, they always have to have uh, somebody helping them uh, get around. And so this group uh, or this family was on a train uh, going from, I believe, Indiana. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure Indiana all the way out to California. And she said, Aaron, I want to thank you and Sizzle for helping me achieve my dream, which was to, to be able to take my family to California, to take time off of our regular jobs, the things that we do every day, and to be able to show them the, the, you know, the United States, to be able to give them that opportunity. And she said, what a great chance it is. You know, we've got kids going back to school here in the next couple of weeks, and it was a chance for us to get away. But she said, because of Sizzle, I'm able to do that. Well, again, that's one of her dream boards. That's something that she has up on her wall um, that she wanted to be able to make this trip out to California, and now she's doing it. That's what we have to instill in people is that there has to be something tangible, something physical, something recognizable that somebody can actually latch on to and say, I know I can do it. I just need kind of the path to run on. And that's really what the system does. So once you start to feel comfortable, you get uh, your upline up, you know, whether uh, it's your immediate upline or somebody that's up above uh, that has the skills and the, and the tools and the resources at the ready, they can actually help you with those first calls. And then you're setting up appointments and then you're getting to that, uh, that next phase, which is actually going out and talking to people. And with the reason why we love having the brochures and the, and the catalog there is that it's your little bit of a cheat sheet. It's also uh, here in America and, and in Australia and New Zealand. Um, you guys have a flip chart in there as well that allows you to get through some of the information. So there's just a little bit of detail in there that allows you to have at your fingertips the things that you need to have to become successful 
and I really, again, will tell you, you're, the most important thing that I can that I can say is if you can if you can learn as much as you can about that resource, and if you can start to use those words as your day-to-day -day conversation pieces, I want you to know that you will be able to have success while you're helping other people have success as well. So I, I mentioned that because if you can have that consistent message, again, I use that word consistently consistent. If you can have that consistent message as you go forward, you will have success, I promise you. Uh, and other people will have success because it's called duplication. So again, that's, that's really in a nutshell, uh, the information that needs to be thought of as you start to build your business, people start to get, uh, as you recruit new people into the business, they're gonna get this kit in their hands and you're going to know what it is, what's in it. And the other thing that we're working on right now is an electronic file that you can have all of the information that's in the kit online so that you can, again, without having to go out and purchase it, uh, you can learn as much as you can. If anybody is coming in the door, of course, it's going to be a compulsory thing. They, have to, they, have, they do have to use a kit. Uh, to come in the door. And the reason that we believe in that is that there's twofold. One, I want to make an investment into my business. So I need to have the tools and the resources there uh, that I can have. And two, we believe that it will create duplication. So with that being said, Kurt, I'll, I'll allow you to ask me other questions. Well, thanks, Aaron. I really appreciate that. You know, um, folks, if you're not taking notes on this and, and, and uh, paying attention, it will all be recorded and we'll have it up on the YouTube channel or you can come back here to Facebook as well and you can listen to the recording again and again and again. Um, you know, Aaron, you said something that I thought was really important. Uh, the business is really built around helping other people achieve their goals and what that's going to do is that's going to help you achieve your goal. I, I, I really like that statement. It's so true with, with uh, Sizzle and with network marketing. Yeah, and I think I think a lot of people forget about that in, in that um, a lot of people don't realize that you have these resources at your fingertips. They're there for a reason. People need to reach out. People need to look at them. But we as the leadership, we as the people that are bringing new people into the business need to understand. And I don't care, folks, if you just join today. Um, you need to understand that if you're going to go out and build your business, you need to understand what your people will need in order for them to have success. So there's no question, Dr. Kirk, there, there's so much information that I need to learn. I don't want to overwhelm people, and I definitely don't want to overwhelm myself if I'm just getting started. But I do know that I have some information at my fingertips that can give me a little bit of a leg up, if you will, on knowing or having so much knowledge that's at my fingertips that I don't necessarily need to cram it all, like in you know going back to college or high school or middle school or elementary for that matter. It's, it's really, we want to make it as easy and simple as possible to show people the way to success. You bet. Well, and Aaron, one of the other things, you know, we've got a lot of people who are on the call, who are listening to the, the, the recording of this call. They're on Facebook Live right now listening to this. And, and as I've talked to some of my, my team members, some of the team members that, that I work with, and, and really people that aren't even on my team, I've talked to other Sizzle distributors, and they say, oh, you know, I didn't hit my goal. I didn't get it done. And so they, they kind of get this attitude that, that they're, that they're going to give up. And, and uh, I know I was just talking to a friend of mine uh, the other day. I said, well, there's no reason you can't do a start over. You know, in golf, they call it a mulligan. And uh, you, just, you just get to hit another ball. You start from the tee. You, you hit another ball. You get to, you get to do it again. And, and there's no reason we can't, we can't start again in sizzle. I mean, it, it, and, and the nice thing is, is that you're starting from uh, a starting point that's a little higher up than starting from ground zero. Well, it's, it's, there's no question. And a lot of people, in my opinion, look at it as failure. You know, one of the things I love about Tom Sr. is that he doesn't look at failure at all. He, he really doesn't. He doesn't think of failure as failure. He thinks of failure um, as I may not have been as successful as I thought I could be or would be. And, and why wasn't I? So now take a look back. And like you said, so did I, you know, did I, I whiff up on the ball? Did it, did it, you know, slice it? Uh, did it fly to the right? Did it, you know, go to the left? Which way, which direction? How do I need to overcorrect uh, or recorrect my swing in order to make sure that I don't do hit the same ball again? And I think that's part of this process. But folks, one of the things that I want you to know is that um, 
you will be rewarded for the effort that you're willing to put into the business. It's, it's absolutely indicative. The amount of time that you're willing to invest is exactly what you will get out of this business. And so you need to realize that this is your business. It's not Dr. Kurt Fisnick's business. It's not Katie Larkings. It's not Aaron Reynolds. It's not uh, Andrea McKinney. It's not anybody. It's not any of these people's businesses. It's our business to then go out and show people how they can actually create success. Uh, but at the, at the end of the day, it's up to each one of us to put in the time, the effort, and the resources to identify a way to actually build my business. And one of the things that I, that I love that, uh, that is something that you guys can look at is you got to make your business a little bit fun as well. I mean, I think about you, Dr. Kurt, uh, the last time you went down to Australia, uh, it was back in February of this last year, or this year, sorry, but a few months ago. And um, and when you went down there, one of the things that you did was you spent literally, I, can't, I think it was over 30 days for sure, but I don't remember the exact number of days that you were there. But one of the things that you did was you mixed in some business with some pleasure. Uh, you went and saw places that you'd never seen. You went and spent time doing things that you'd never done. And as a result, it became part of this magical opportunity to work your own business, to have the freedom that you want to have. And I think we all want to have that freedom to go do the things that we enjoy doing, but also recognize that it also takes some work. It takes some perseverance. It takes some blood, sweat, tears. And each one of us has to put in that time that's necessary for us to go out and actually be, again, rewarded for the time and the effort and the resources that we put into our business. So again, if you're a hobbyist, and you love taking the product and you love sharing it here and there, but you're, you're going to take the product regardless, you're probably going to create an income that's a hobbyist type income. If you're doing it part time, you can create a part time income, but you have to allocate and dedicate a number of hours a day or week in order for you to go out and be rewarded for that time that you're going to put into the business. But if you're going to do it full time, if this is all you do, and I'm talking to Dr. Kurt Fisnick, if this is all you do, then you work it like a business and you manage it like a business and you look at your downline, you look at your organization, you look at where your gaps are, you identify your legs, you look at the people that are strong, you look at the people uh, that, are, that are knowledgeable or medium, and then you look at those people that may be a little bit weaker in terms of their knowledge and understanding of the business and you focus on some of these different people in different ways and kind of cut loose the ones that are phenomenal and doing a great job and you start kind of educating, nurturing and, and coaching those people that are interested because you kind of know pretty quickly who those people are, in my opinion. You really know very quickly who the people are that are really going to put their time into this business and really dedicate their, you know, literally their passion, their soul and start building a business. So you're absolutely right, but it doesn't come overnight. And, and again, it's not failure. Uh, take another swing, guys. Go out and look at it and, and say, okay, you know what? I've learned a lot over the last little while. I think Sizzle's uh, put some things back together that may have been a little bit broken, you know, over the last six, eight, 10, 12 months. Let's fix those or they are being fixed and let's go forward and start building our business based on the amount of time that we're willing to put into it. You bet. Well, and I know you're driving and you're heading up to a business meeting. So I'm going to um, just ask you if, if there's anything else that you'd like to share with everyone, uh, something that, that, you know, really could carry them forward and, and you know, to finish off the summer strong and, and, uh, and then uh, wish you a, a, a good meeting tonight and a great weekend. Well, yeah, no problem. I've got I've got a few minutes, and and one of the things that I would love to do, and I I will tell you that if I can get a commitment from a few people to do this, uh, it'll it'll actually give you guys a tenfold return. I promise you this. If each one of you would send upline, however you guys do it, if each one of you would communicate to your upline, to your sponsors, and to your leaders what your goals are for this coming month, meaning August. We're in, the, we're in the month right now, we're the second day in. If each, well, sorry, for those of you that are on the other side of the world, you guys are the third, on the third day already. But if each one of you would send information and, and uh, real true goals written out, send them to these individuals and let them help you achieve the success that you're looking to achieve. Because I can tell you this, you can't do it alone. You really can't. It's impossible. And I've said it a thousand times. It's one of my little weird quotes, but you cannot do it alone. You're not, your, your success will not be measured by what you do alone, but by, why, by what you help others do collectively. 
And so when you think about the opportunity, I want you to think about um, spending some time jotting down some of your, your financial goals, your recruiting goals, uh, your retention goals, your rank advancement goals, spend some time and really deliberate internally or with your significant other or with that person, again, who is your leader, your upline, your, your resource, and spend some time and talk about, you know what, this is what I want to do. And if I was with, uh, if I was working with Dr. Kurt Fisnick and, and I'm looking at how I can build my business, I'm going to reach out to him and say, okay, doc, here's what I want to do for this month. Can you help me get there? Can you give me some ideas, some suggestions? Can you give me some time on some three-way calls? Can we set up some events? Can we start working towards some impending events so that we can get some people uh, to a meeting? And a meeting doesn't necessarily need to be a hotel meeting. It doesn't necessarily need to even be a cafe meeting. And really, it quite honestly doesn't need to be an in-home meeting. It can be a phone call. It can be a webinar. It can be a, a conference call. But it's, it's interesting to me that so many people sit back and wait for somebody else to do it. It seems or appears that there are a lot of people that are waiting for somebody else to do the things that need to be done for them to have success. And I can tell you this as well, you're probably not gonna have a lot of success if you're waiting for somebody else to create your success for you. The only person that's going to create your success is you. I can tell you that from firsthand experience that nobody will do it for you, I promise you. Everybody is fairly self-centered, but what I love about this industry is that you don't have to work with self-centered people. They're actually highly motivated and actually rewarded when you have success, they're successful. So the good news is if you'll get with your people that are, again, in your upline, uh, in your organization, your team leaders, et cetera, if you're willing to spread that information and willing to open up, uh, again, and be a little bit vulnerable, you have an opportunity to have some people help you achieve that success that you're looking for. But if they don't know what your goals are, it's pretty much impossible for them to know exactly how to help you. So if I know that you want to hit one star this month, I need to know how many people you have in your organization, how much volume you currently have coming in, how many legs you currently have working, and then I can help you achieve it by, by really working with each one of those people in your organization, working on calls, doing three ways, et cetera, bringing new people into the business, helping other people bring new people into the business. That's how you're going to have success. And one of the things I talked to Tom Sr. about tonight, um, we were in there uh, with my marketing crew, well, Jason and Sophia, uh, we were in, the, in with Tom Sr. for about two hours tonight. And um, one of the things that we really spent a lot of time talking about was the fact that we are a phenomenal company when it comes to product. We're amazing. There's nothing like this company in terms of product. I, and I tell you guys this because I get to watch it manufactured over in, the, in our great big manufacturing facility. So I know we've got the manufacturing to, to create these incredible products that the world has never seen before, as we say, uh, or as Tom Sr. says. But what I want you to know is that sometimes we spend so much time talking about the products that we forget about the business opportunity. And there are so many people that are looking for not only the healthy body, but they're also looking for a healthy bank account. And they know that if they if they focus on that, if they really start to to look at that and and be very disciplined, I can tell you that you can change the health of your of your bank account as well. And again, I'm not just preaching that, hey, hype, hype, hype. Let's go out and figure out a way to make a million dollars. And if you do the A, B and C, you're going to make a million dollars, folks. It's a grind that there's a lot of time that you have to put in. But I can tell you this, you can get your product for free pretty easily. You can get up to a lifestyle change. You can get to $1,000 a month. If you can get to 1,000, you can get to 1,500 or 2,000 or 5,000. I can tell you that, but again, it takes consistency. You have to consistently work your business. You have to consistently work with your upline and just as consistently work with your downline to make sure that you're supporting them. And one of the things that, uh, that happens, I get it from different parts of the world. I had a group that sent me an email um, over the last couple of days and actually, I guess I got it yesterday morning very early uh, from a person on the East Coast, and they were mentioning that um, uh, they would love it if I would reach out to a person who just hit six star uh, in their organization. And so I uh, asked for the phone number and, and uh, said, you know, let me get in touch with them. And I called, had a great call, 40 minutes of, of literally just this great conversation about what we're doing right, some of the things that, we, that they could use some help with. Uh, but what helped them get to that point, what helped them get to the end of the month and hit that number, uh, hit that rank goal, um, as well as volume goal. 
and it was so great for me to hear it directly from a person who's actually doing it day in and day out. But it's also great for me to have an opportunity uh, to hear it from somebody who says, hey, I've got a team member that has just done a phenomenal, a sensational job at hitting six star. Would you mind getting in touch with them? So each one of you need to know that as well. If you've got people that are doing a great job, a rising star, a rookie, a, a somebody that's just you know making a run, or somebody that's been doing it for a while, like Dr. Kurt Fisnick just said, uh, somebody that's been out there working and working and working, didn't quite have the success, but then they made a turnaround and said, you know what, I'm going to make another run at it, and, I'm, and I believe that with your support and with your help, I can do it. And that person needs a little bit of a shot in the arm. I'm happy to, to send out a quick text, an email, uh, a quick phone call uh, to let them know how much I appreciate them and their efforts so that they can, again, have the support that they need even from corporate, not just from the field, but from corporate. So it's a lot of fun. And, and guys, if you're not, as Tom Sr. always says, if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. We should all be having a lot of fun. We work our regular jobs, many of us. Um, Obviously, I'm a little different than all of you guys. So I work uh, my job as a, as a corporate representative, vice president of worldwide sales and marketing. You know, I, I tend to be at the office every day and that's the deal. That's the way I work. And I'm, I can't have a downline. It's it's uh, not uh, it's not acceptable. Number one. And, and number two, I don't think it's important. I don't think it's it's fair to compete against our field. So I, I do everything I do on behalf of you and on behalf of having Sizzle become successful. But I want you to know that I love the opportunities to do everything I can to help the groups that, that are trying to be successful, be successful. And I know that you can do it if you all embrace each other. This call, this consistent call that happens every week, you should be doing something like literally reaching out to five or 10 people at, at the first of every week and saying, hey, I've got a call coming up at the end of this week. I'd love to have you on that call. You'll be able to get a little bit of an idea of the, of the relationship that's created by by Dr. Kurt and the other people that are within the organization, but it's that consistent message that comes across on a weekly basis that allows you to go to a destination and be able to learn and be educated and be trained by some of the greatest minds in this industry. So you guys have it right in front of you. You've got the support. You've got the mechanism to be successful. Now, again, like I said earlier, it's up to you to go out and do it. So Doc, back to you. You bet. Well, Aaron, I'll let you get going and have a great meeting tonight. Have a great weekend with your family. And uh, and uh, I'll see you in September at Mauer Mountain. Hey, I can't wait. For those of you that are coming out to Mauer Mountain, that was one of the topics of conversation tonight. It, we had a we had a great uh, meeting talking a little bit about the topics and, and some of the other ideas uh, that we've got um, in terms of training. It's going to be a fantastic event. I, I will tell you that if you guys, if there's anybody sitting on the fence right now, you need to get out here. I mean, Kurt, you've been out to a number of the Mauer Mountain events. You've always had a great time. You've always been a great resource for us. It's always been a lot of fun as obviously, you know, as you and I both know, I mean, heck, we had a great time over in, uh, in Hungary a couple of years ago where we were able to go out and do some things that again, none of us uh, ever thought we would do. You were on a ropes course having a great time, but it built cr incredible unity. And that's really what I see is that there are so many people that afterwards stay in contact and share best practices, share stories and, and experiences that you just can't have living a normal everyday life. So it's a great opportunity for people to come out. But I'll tell you this, you will be trained at this event. You will learn, you will have knowledge, and you will go back armed and dangerous to have success in your market. So again, I'll turn it back to you. I'm actually sitting in front of the restaurant right now. I can see these guys staring at me. So Again, I appreciate it, and uh, and everybody have a great night. Have a great day wherever you happen to be in the world. Uh, but again, no, I certainly appreciate and was pleased to speak to you today. Thanks, Aaron. Have a great meeting. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Everyone, if you want to hang with me here, I'm going to go over um, the uh, product uh, called uh, Balanced D and talk a little bit about probiotics. And here's a, 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 a article, this is from Harvard Medical School, and it talks about the health benefits of taking probiotics. And, it's, and this, is from, uh, this is from August 22nd, 2018, so just, um, just a, a, a year ago. And uh, probiotics can aid in digestion and help maintain gut health. So this is coming from Harvard, and they're saying, what are the benefits of taking probiotics? And 
bacteria have reputation for causing disease. So it just doesn't seem right that you could take bacteria and it would make you healthy. And, and so a lot of people, they, they just don't get it. Um, but we're seeing a lot of, a lot of science on, on, on probiotics. We're seeing a lot of talk about yogurt. We're seeing uh, probiotic-laced uh, beverages. Um, it's a huge business over in Japan. But it's, it's a big business over here, too. You know, you got the kombucha teas and the kefirs and the, the cultured beverages and all these different things. So a lot of digestive specialists are saying that probiotics will help with irritable bowel syndrome. They're saying that it'll help uh, with a, a lot of uh, different kinds of things, like even um, uh, vaginal problems, urinary, urinary tract infections. Um, they're saying it helps out with diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, H. pylori, uh, uh, urinary tract infections, bladder cancer, infection of the digestive tract uh, caused by C. diff, um, uh, a, a, a condition called pouchitis, which is a side effect of surgery when the colon is removed, eczema. Uh, my, my middle son was having trouble with his uh, with eczema when he was a child, and, and we fixed his digestive system, which fixed the immune system, and his eczema was gone. And uh, pretty much a, a, a great thing to have happened for him. Hang on, I gotta click that pop up out of there, and uh, it's uh, and and they've been using it for uh, for treating people with diarrhea. They say that taking lactobacillus shortens the course of the of the uh, uh, diarrhea. They, I mean, you can just go through a lot of different things here, and it's sold as a dietary supplement, and pretty amazing. But over in Europe, a number of years ago, I don't know exactly how many years ago, but um, probiotics were actually sold as a as a as a prescription and so when you start looking at that um that's uh that's pretty pretty amazing too so now all of a sudden we're seeing that it's uh, that it's uh, um sold over the counter it's it's safe to use um it can't cause any health problems here's a study that i just took some notes on recent studies by york health and cochrane they demonstrated the efficacy of reducing the duration and the number of occurrences of respiratory tract infections uh, using probiotics. They also go on to say that it reduces the number of antibiotic prescriptions that are necessary for people who get an infection. And then um, reading further in the study, that the studies also indicated that when people are taking probiotics, it saves a huge amount of money on the, on the healthcare system. It saves money. I mean, think about that, folks. Think of people that you know that are constantly going to the doctor. They're taking their kids to the doctor for ear infections and this and that. Um, they're finding that that the the, the the biggest savings that they noted were actually with the, the health care costs of children, smokers, smokers. If you smoke cigarettes, um, it's really important to note this. And then for people who have jobs and careers where they have lots of human contact, you want to you want to be taking a probiotic. Um, you, you've heard uh, you've heard Andrea and I talk about um, the microbiome. You've heard us talking about folic acid on the um, on the uh, uh, doctor's clinic call that we do every Tuesday. And so this study said that in the studies done in the in the United Kingdom in the UK that they said that the introduction of probiotics early in life would prevent the formation of tumors. And they could even treat existing ones using probiotics. That was using um, that was using lactobacillus, and they actually showed that, that um, for for a, a large part of it, you could treat colon cancer using probiotics. Now, these aren't studies that are done on our products, and I want to make this very clear to you: when you make claims, um, you can get yourself in trouble. These are studies that are done on. Um, probably a generic probiotic, probably something that that's on over the on the counter, over the counter type of thing. But it's not studies done our, on our product. And so I need to say this is that when we take a look at at any of the products that that uh, Tom comes out with, his products are always more powerful than anything else in the market. He may not have come out with the first probiotic. But you can bet your your bottom dollar that when he came out with one, it was a really good one. And, and so if these studies are saying this is what it does, holy cow, what do we got, right? 
Another study that I was reading, it said that that staph, staph infections, it's a common bacterial infection. I'm sure that, that you you yourself, or maybe you know somebody that's had a, a, a bacterial infection, but nowadays we're hearing about these flesh-eating bacteria, and we're hearing about bacteria that are resistant, that they that they can't be killed with, with um, antibiotics. So here's an interesting study. They found that another bacteria, one of the bacteria that's found in probiotics, in probiotics like Balanced D, they find that, that um, these, these bacteria, these healthy bacteria, actually fights the staph infection. It fights the flesh-eating bacteria. It fights the resistant bacteria by, um, by uh, secreting a substance that, uh, that kills and uh, stops the growth of the, of the bad bacteria. Think about that. So you've got a healthy bacteria that kills the bad bacteria. Isn't that all just uh, simply amazing? So when we look at the, at the sizzle product, when we look at what we have here, uh, we've added uh, all the right uh, healthy bacteria to the product. We've added prebiotics. And, and a lot of folks, they ask me, well, what exactly is a prebiotic? Well, prebiotic are, are, are um, types of fiber that uh, the bacteria digest and use as fuel because you have to feed these because the bacteria are living creatures as well. And so you want to feed them with that where bad bacteria actually lives on sugar. So that's one of the reasons that you want to get away from a sugary diet and you want to get with more of a healthy diet, fiber, things like that. And we've talked about on, on the call, we've talked about on the Better Health for You uh, webinars on the benefits of fiber. And, uh, and I know Katie has a ton of information. She's actually working on, on, some inf on a way of being able to, do, to measure uh, the, the, the amount of fiber that you have in your diet just by knowing what you ate. And, uh, and, and so we, we've got things like this at our hands, but according to uh, all of the experts in the in nutrition industry, they're saying that the average person is getting about 50% of the amount of fiber that they need. And fiber is what feeds the healthy bacteria. And here's something that, that you know, if you've listened to my calls, you've heard me say this before, that when, you're, when your healthy bacteria digest the, the, the fiber, it produces hydrogen. And we hear a lot from Tom, we hear a lot from Sizzle, we hear a lot from scientists nowadays, the benefits of hydrogen water. And so if we can if we can boost that, if we can boost the benefits of that by, by eating fiber, holy cow, right? So folks, I really just want to say thank you for being here with us every every week and, and thanks for sharing this with people. Like Aaron said, you know, be consistent. And there's no reason that you can't start over if you're you were doing good and then you had to take some time off. I mean life has a way of throwing uh, monkey wrenches in in the system and and if that happens to you do a start over take a mulligan if you're a golfer you know what i mean with a mulligan take a mulligan and then start over from wherever you're at and uh, and, and start building your system and and you can you can make this thing work so folks have a great weekend enjoy the the week here have a great month let's make it let's make it a great month and finish off the last uh, four months of the of the year, really, really strong. All right, bye bye.